Shelly Stark, the Spokane woman, claims she shot and killed her ex-husband in self-defense. The victim had been shot several times in the back. Police say it was a plot to cash in. Tonight, what just put her back in jail and what will cost her $25,000? The Spokane woman suspected of murdering her ex-husband to avoid paying child support and collect his life insurance policy is back behind bars tonight. KXLY 4 has learned Shelly Stark was booked into the Spokane County Jail after allegedly violating the conditions of her release. Our Jeff Humphrey live at the courthouse. Jeff, what did she do? Well, as a condition of her release to ensure that Shelley Stark shows up here for her murder trial, Stark was not allowed to leave Spokane County. However, thanks to a GPS tracking bracelet attached by Northwest Monitoring, Stark's bonding company knew that she was crossing the line. Shelley Stark is not your average murder suspect. Before she was accused of gunning down her ex-husband, she worked as a high-priced prostitute. After the killing, Stark told Spokane police to shove off. She's been not real cooperative with us, and so we're she's decided not to talk to us anymore. And so it's not surprising that Stark is now at odds with her bonding company. Smith Family Bail Bonds put up a quarter million dollar bond so Stark could get out of jail back in January. But as a condition of her release, Stark had to stay here in Spokane County. Generally that is so that the person stays in the area for the court dates and, and is within the grasp of the prosecution uh, from the start of their case until the end of their case. Ed Houchin did not write the bond that freed Stark, however his company, Northwest Monitoring, did provide the GPS bracelet that tracked Stark's movements. When satellites show that Stark may have left the area, Smith Family Bail Bonds was notified. That's a violation of Stark's contract with Smith, and because the company didn't want to risk losing its quarter million dollar bond to the court, Stark was booked back inside the Spokane County Jail. Bonding companies are in the responsibility business. We are the, the, the front line for, making, for getting people out of jail and making sure they go to court. Prosecutors say if they can prove that Stark violated the conditions of her release, the state may now ask that she be held without bond until her murder trial gets underway here in September. Reporting live at the courthouse, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.